food. All life depends on it. In a very real way, you literally are what you eat. But what is the food you eat made of? And where does it come from? Well, to understand that, we're going to have to dig a little deeper. Most food starts with soil. Powered by solar energy, plants pull carbon out of thin air and combine it with water and nutrients from soil to form the building blocks of life. Although we are mostly made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, we couldn't exist without the over 17 elements that soil alone provides. The two to three pounds of calcium and phosphorus that makes up our teeth and bones. The iron that transports oxygen through our veins. The nitrogen that makes up all of our hormones, protein, and DNA. And the potassium that makes our neurons fire, muscles contract, and heart beat all come from soil. Whether directly through plants or indirectly through animals, 95% of the food we eat can be traced back to soil. And for most of human history, it was pretty hand to mouth. Our diets were diverse and our footprints small, but food was scarce at times and we lacked stability and security. Until around 11,000 BC, independently and all across the globe, humans started collecting seeds and cultivating the soil. Different soils had different abilities to hold water and cycle nutrients, supporting different crops and livestock, and giving rise to the co-evolution of cultures and cuisine. Agriculture allowed for exponential growth. People moved into cities, and we would soon package and ship food to supermarkets all across the world, extending the distance from farm to fork and creating some unintended consequences along the way. With each harvest, important nutrients were removed from the soil. And as we began diverting waste to landfills and sewage systems, we put a slight wrench in the poop loop. Diversity decreased in our diets and on our landscapes. And with increased use, our soils started to degrade. Now we are being called on to produce more food on less land amidst new challenges like shifts in climate, superbugs, super weeds, and the spread of disease. And people everywhere are rising to the challenge. Victory gardens are being reinvented as climate gardens. Abandoned city lots are being reclaimed as urban farms. Farmers markets are reconnecting growers and eaters, and the Natural Resources Conservation Service has spurred a renaissance in soil health that is bringing together scientists, farmers, and industry to create more regenerative, resilient agricultural systems. Recognizing that the soil beneath us is alive, billions of organisms in a single teaspoon working together to break down waste, cycle nutrients, promote growth, and fight disease. And just like the microbes living in our guts, the more we feed and take care of them, the healthier and more diverse their communities and the functions they provide. More diversity, more resilience. But there are no one size fits all diets for you, I, or agriculture at large. The challenges we face are complex and require place-based, climate, and soil specific solutions. We've only scratched the surface of the soil microcosmos. An entire frontier of discovery awaits. Click the link below to get involved. The future of your food depends upon it.